Hey everyone, I've got Bear down here and Angel over there. And uh, I'm adding a, a two new subs to the list and uh, I've kind of been sitting on this for a while. I've known about it for a little bit, but I've been sworn to secrecy, so I wasn't able to say anything. But uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm the world's first SVS affiliate. Uh, so you can follow my links in the description down below. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, but the PB4000, would be the SVS flagship if it weren't for the PB16 Ultra. Uh, it's got 1200 watts RMS, 4000 watts peak. It's got a 13 and a half inch driver and the amplifier uh, acts almost like a power conditioner. Now, uh, these are the PB16 Ultras here. So these are pretty good size subs. They're, they're big by most standards. Uh, and the thing is, a lot of people assume that, you know, if you're running 1500 watts RMS like the PB16 Ultras and 5000 watts peak, you know, running two of those as you should, you would need a separate circuit or make some sort of adjustments. But I run those off the wall. Uh, no special adjustments whatsoever. So I think knowing that might help some of you that are kind of curious about getting into the higher wattage subwoofers. Um, but the, the PB4000, uh, it has the SVS app and the remote control, just like the PB16 Ultra. Uh, it has loads of adjustability. So you've got the variable ports, uh, you've got the app, and with the app, you've got an EQ with graphic representation. And I think that's important. Rather than just having EQ dials that maybe you're not sure what they do, like the Q adjustment and things like that, this actually shows you on the adjustments how it affects the response curve. And so you can go through and mess around with the app and just kind of get an idea of if I make this adjustment here and change this cue here, how is it going to affect the way the subwoofer sounds? You can actually see that in the app, and I think that's really important. Um, but this PB4000 is a powerful sub, and it'll absolutely deliver deeper performance than your local theater. Most local theaters are like, they start to taper off around 40 hertz. Uh, these will go deeper than you can hear, okay? Um, it's undeniably different and so much better in my opinion. Um, and when you get into the higher power subs with SVS, it's not just louder, okay? These will definitely go, go louder than a lot of subs, but uh, it's the realism, okay? It's, it's the incredible impact when called for. So, you know, it'll be gentle and delicate when it's supposed to be gentle and delicate, like a, someone playing a, a, an, upright by, an upright bass softly. I can't talk right now, sorry about that. But, you know, if, they're, if you've got low, gentle bass, it's not going to be overbearing. But when the movie hits and you get, you know, explosions and things like that, it, the impact from that is amazing. Uh, so, you know, and, and if it's, if they should never be overbearing, and if they sound overbearing, it's probably in the adjustments. And so that's something I think a lot of people misunderstand about good bass is you get big subs like this, it's just going to be overbearing all the time, and it really isn't. Um, that's something that I think a lot of people would misunderstand, but with subs powerful like this, it's really a, a weird thing. It just opens up the base window. Um, and, you know, so when I say opening up the base window, a lot of subs, they get quieter as they go deeper. And so you can't hear everything. Uh, these and the PB4000s uh, generally get a little bit louder as they go deeper. And what that means is you can actually run a bit more bass and have more bass and also have more impact. And that's what you get when you go in the higher range of SVS subs with more power and things like that. You get just more ability of, of the subs to deliver that impact and also that gentle nature that you like with some gentle music and things like that. So it's kind of, the better the sub you have, the better your bass window is, the bigger your bass window is, and the more you can hear. And with these, uh, with the PB4000s, there will be nothing audible missing. So what I mean by that is my hearing stops at 17 hertz. And most SVS subs on the list, uh, I talk about the list, it's the list of subwoofers that I would actually buy myself. Um, all these subs, with the exception of like the PB1000s um, and probably the uh, PB12 NSD, I'm, I'm not sure it'll go quite this low, but from the PB2000 on up and the ported sub versions, um, they're all going to hit right around 14 hertz in room, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but with room gain, that's what they're going to end up being. Uh, and so, 
And the other cool thing is with, with the PB4000s is they're more power than the PB13 Ultra, which was the previous flagship before the PB16 Ultra. And uh, thankfully, it's less expensive in the Black Oak version. Uh, it's $18.99 for the Black Oak and $19.99 for the Piano Gloss. Uh, the SB4000 is $14.99 for the Black Oak and $15.99 for the Piano Gloss. And as I understand it, that's, that's going to be replacing the SB13 uh, Ultra. And then they also have, a lot of people are going to be excited about this, uh, the PC4000, which is the cylinder version. And it's $17.99, and that includes isolation standard. Uh, it's 47 inches tall, which is pretty tall. Now, you'll, you'll notice I have like a, uh, what do you call it, a, a Rubbermaid container there with a DVD on top. That's how tall the uh, PC4000 is going to be. It's 47 inches, uh, which is pretty tall, but the, the uh, actual footprint itself, how much space it takes up on the floor, is really pretty compact. So you're condensing just this mass amount of base energy uh, and, and putting it in a small footprint. So if you have a smaller room, if, you're, if you have issues with uh, you know, having floor space, the PC4000s make a lot of sense. Um, as always, uh, shipping is free with SVS, even if you send it back. And I want to point out, too, that going factory direct is probably the best way to get SVS products. Um, all of my links in the description below are factory direct, and so you get the things like trade up and all that stuff. Um, if you go to certain places, uh, like, okay, if, I'm not against Amazon, I'm an Am Amazon affiliate, so, uh, but if you want to order these on Amazon, uh, you're not going to get the one year trade up. Uh, your your 45 day trial won't be the same. I think it's more like 30 days. Uh, there's some issues. So if you go directly with SVS, uh, you get the full bill of rights, which uh, is, is a pretty awesome uh, consumer protection package. It's, it's a really great way to go. But the free shipping uh, is great going out to you, but also if you return it. So it really makes you know trying out SVS products really, an exp uh, I guess I would say, very uh, low risk. So if you, you know, get a PB4000 out and you're like, ah, this wasn't what I wanted, you can return it. You don't have to pay shipping in return. You don't have to pay restocking fees or anything like that. So long as you don't set the thing on fire, uh, it's a very easy, easy process. Um, and I also want to point out, and I've done the video uh, just recently on the importance of dual subs. You know, the, the 4000 series subwoofer should be a three to $4,000 budget subwoofer in order to get two. Okay, so getting one powerful sub like this is not as good as splitting your budget. Okay, and I, I made a point in that in my last video, but two PB2000s would be a better choice than a single PB4000 all day long. Okay, uh, it's yes, the, the PB4000 is going to be more powerful, more wattage, more output, all this stuff. But when you run with dual subs, it just makes everything better. You can hear everything, you don't get any Swiss cheese bass. You level out that standing wave effect and everything just sounds so much better and it feels better. So if you guys haven't seen that, check out my, my video on the importance of dual subs. I've gone back and forth several times and I never purposely want to go back to a single sub. So I just want to stress that um, because it really does make a difference. And you know, if you do end up, say you're interested in the PB4000s, but you end up going with the PB2000s so you can get two right now, you've got the one year trade up. And a lot of people take advantage of that, okay? And what you do is you just tell them, hey, I want to upgrade to this. And then you pay the, the difference in shipping. It's the only time they ask you to pay for shipping. And then the full amount you paid, uh, you know, less shipping gets credited to whichever upgraded sub you want to go to. And so really splitting your budget and going with duels is just the way to go. Um, I always stress it. I can't stress it enough because people always ask me about it. Important. Um, but anyway, when you go from the PB2000s to the PB4000s, uh, the PB4000s will give you more impact, more realism, uh, more headroom. It's just more. And it really comes out in movies. Uh, in, in music, it depends on the type of music you're listening to, but movies is where it's really evident and where it's kind of undeniable at that point. Um, you know, so you're not much, it, it's really not that much deeper, okay, but it's stronger and cleaner. And that's the whole idea. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with quality bass with subwoofers like the subs that are on the list, 
uh, really the difference is undeniable. Most subs get quieter as they go deeper. It's a real common thing. I was just um, at my cousin's house trying to help him make some adjustments on his system and he's got a basic sub that gets quieter as it goes deeper and it really reminded me on how difficult it is to get a system dialed in with a typical sub. It, it's really more of a nightmare than I recalled. So, uh, and it really uh, made me realize a few things on some of the advice I'm giving to people because, you know, not everyone has good subs and it makes a difference. Um, but anyway, it really is um, a major difference. And, you know, the impact with the PB4000s should be extraordinary, you know, in terms of movies and stuff like that. Um, the depth of presentation uh, should absolutely be impressive, and that's pretty standard with all SVS subs. Uh, even the PB1000s has a great depth of presentation, and so it's something SVS is really good at. Uh, but anyway, I'm really excited to hear these. Uh, they're going to be, it's, it's a more affordable option rather than dual PB16 Ultra. It's about $1,000 less uh, for dual subs. So it really puts it more in reach for people. Um, and again, I, I suspect any version of the 4000 series will comfortably hit 14 hertz in room. Uh, but the exact specs and all that will be in the description down below. Um, but these subs, you know, the PB4000s along with the PB16 Ultra series, uh, you know, these are subs that will be right at home in a million dollar home theater. Uh, and and I, I don't say that lightly. Uh, if people want the best possible base, uh, SVS has to be in that discussion. Uh, I, it's, you know, there are some other manufacturers out there that, that come close and, and stuff like that. But um, really, I, I've been really impressed with SVS. So um, anyway, I'm really looking forward to hearing these. Um, I'm also, let me know what you guys think. I'm kicking around the idea of doing a uh, projector setup and I'm thinking of something that where the screen comes down uh, and it won't be something that I'm going to replace the TV with because I have a lot of light in this room so I'm going to keep the TV uh, but I'm looking for something reasonable and probably around the thousand dollar price range for everything uh, since it'll be a once in a while thing so if you guys have any thoughts on that uh, any ideas on particular projectors I should look at I'm, I'm curious I know they don't really make an inexpensive 4k projector at this point but um, I don't know I'm curious about some feedback so anyway guys thanks for watching stay tuned I've got some more videos coming up um, thanks for watching I appreciate all the support and please subscribe